How you dress can have a drastic impact on your day-to-day -day life. But before I go into that, let me pose you a question. Instead of dressing like this, if I were to dress like this, would you still listen to me or anything I have to say? Well, the results are in, and the answer is probably not. Hi, welcome to Street Psychology, where you get to learn a little bit more about the practical applications of psychology, whilst also allowing me to teach you some more tips and tricks on how to improve yourself and your surroundings based on the mind. I'd like to preface this video by saying that I'm not a psychologist, but I'm someone who likes to do the research so that you don't have to. So if at any point in time you don't believe what I'm saying, or if you just want to read more for yourself, feel free to go down into the description box below and check out the links to everything that I've researched for this video. And while you're down there, don't forget to drop me one of these and also hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Trust me, studies have shown that if you do all three of those things, your dress game just goes from one to a hundred. Terms of conditions apply. Now, at some point in your life, someone or the other has probably mentioned the importance of dressing well or the importance of first impressions, but has anybody stopped to explain why these things are important? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Here are the two main reasons that you need to look presentable, psychologically speaking. The first reason why you must dress your best is because of the impact it has on your self-esteem and self-confidence. High levels of self-esteem are critical if you want to do anything in life because they're connected to your perception of your own worth and value. And I don't know about you, but those two are very important things if I want to keep myself motivated. Higher levels of self-esteem are also correlated with higher levels of motivation, happiness, and a sense of fulfillment. And on that same token, self-confidence in a psychological sense has to do with your belief that you can face whatever challenges or whatever demands that you need to on a day-to-day -day basis. And those who have a higher sense of self-confidence report higher levels of happiness and productivity. Now, yes, yes, I know that those things are all fine and dandy and self-esteem is important, self-confidence is cool and all, but what does that have to do with the clothes I wear? Well, according to an article in 2017, Chloe Levins outlines a study she conducted where 120 participants were told to either wear formal attire, casual attire, or whatever they were wearing when they were picked up for the study. Well, the results found that those who wore the formal clothes had a higher sense of self-perception compared to the other two conditions. It's kind of like how a new pair of sneakers can make you feel like you can run an entire marathon, or how a new jacket makes you feel like you're ready for any weather condition. Clothing can make you feel empowered and ready to face new situations, despite whatever they may be. But that doesn't mean you need to dress up in full formal attire for whatever you do. Damn it. Jokes aside, the point is you don't need to wear a blazer and a shirt to make yourself look presentable. What you need to do is match the situation and go one above. That means that if you're going for an interview and they said smart casual, chuck on a blazer instead of just a shirt and jeans. If you're going for a date and you wanted to just rock up in a t-shirt and shorts, maybe spring for some nice fitted jeans and, you know, maybe put on a jacket that makes you look nice. The idea is to always dress one level above whatever the minimum requirement is, and therefore, making yourself look a little extra presentable and giving you that sense of confidence. But if you take this a step further, a study conducted by Adam and Galinsky in 2012 found that participants reacted in a more favorable manner when they were told that the person in front of them wasn't wearing just a painter's coat, but it was a doctor's coat. Essentially what the study showed is that when somebody was told that they're speaking with somebody wearing a doctor's coat, they increased their levels of attention because they perceived that person to be more important and what they were saying to be more valuable. But equally, this doesn't mean that you need to go walking around the street saying that you're wearing a doctor's coat. And dressing properly can make people pay more attention to you that makes you feel more confident. Because I don't know about you, but have you ever started telling a story and you weren't quite feeling it, but the second the audience started responding to it, your confidence just kind of boosted and you got full into it with actions, voices, everything? Well, that's kind of it, but with clothes. When people start responding positively to you, because you're dressed in the capacity that whatever you're trying for needs you to be, then you start feeling more confident about it and you start acting more confidently. The next time you've got a date or anything you need to feel more confident about, maybe looking your best can bring out the best in you. The second psychological reason that you absolutely have to look presentable is that your clothes can determine how people view you. Oh, stop, stop, just wait. I know what you're about to comment and don't do it. You're about to just go down there and type, it's not the clothes, it's the person that... I get that, but hear me out. Now I know in order to properly assess someone, you need to talk to them, figure out what kind of person they are, and then determine whether you like them or not. But the problem is we tend to subconsciously form our first impressions 
way before we've actually had a chance to talk to the person. A study conducted by Howlett in 2013 showed their participants the image of a man wearing a tailored suit for five seconds and then image of the man wearing the exact same suit but in an off-the-rack condition for five seconds. Now, you think that this obviously isn't enough information for people to judge a person, but you would be dead wrong. The results found that the person wearing the made-to-measure suit was said to be more confident, successful, flexible, and assumed he earned more than the person wearing the off-the-rack suit. But these are all qualities that are in no way tied to your clothes. Confidence, flexibility, these things don't have anything to do with the clothes you wear. However, this is what the perception of the person was. Now, they'd only seen the person for five seconds, hadn't had a chance to talk to them, or even realize what they looked like because the face was kind of blurred out. This was all purely based on the clothes the guy was wearing. So ladies and gentlemen, just think about that. Five seconds is all it took to form that holistic opinion on somebody. And chances are this first impression might be able to change over time as you start talking to the person, but that means you're starting off on the wrong foot and you have to put in more effort to try and get the person to like you now because they had formed an impression on you. What we can learn from this is that going the extra mile to look presentable might save you more effort down the line because it makes a huge difference. So using the same data analogy as earlier, maybe instead of going with that usual t-shirt and baggy jeans, go with a shirt untucked with chinos and a nice jacket. As I said, the advice is always to dress one level above the minimum requirement. Obviously the same warnings as earlier apply. You don't need to go around dressed like Barney Stinson, wearing a suit and tie everywhere you go, unless the opportunity presents itself, at which point always go with a suit and tie. Now, if you want to learn more about first impressions than I can teach you inside this video, check out the book called First Impressions, What You Don't Know About How Others See You by Anne Morris and Valerie White. The link is down below if you want to snag yourself a copy. And while you're down there, if this video helped you change your perspective on clothing in any way, shape or form, don't forget to drop me one of these to let me know that you want more of these videos. And also while you're at it, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get the edge on your competition because you've watched my videos the second they came out. That's all for this video and remember, stay psyched.